My name is Tanya St. Pierre. I'm team leader for the Grassland and Pollinator team. My role is about going to communities and working closely with different representatives, different community groups, working closely with our partners, uh, Westman and Furness Council, and doing what's best for pollinators. And that involves getting everyone working together. Pollinators are hugely important. Not only do they provide us with every one in three mouthfuls of food, they are also essential uh, for our ecosystems. 80% of our flowering plants depend on pollinators. It's quite critical now in my lifetime the number of pollinators have halved. We couldn't work without the, you know, the, the help of our partners. We have stakeholders, they could be landowners, they could be park managers, um, green space officers. So we work together to, to create the same outcome and that wouldn't be possible to achieve that solely just by working for Cumbia Wildlife Trust. My name's Steve Porter. Uh, I'm a resident of Arnside and I'm parish councillor and my main job there is lead councillor for the Arnside Wildflower Verges project. It was really to expand that the work we were already doing on Wildflower Verges, which was an initiative that was started by a local resident. We wanted to get more work done on the verges and also then to expand it so that we could get a, a project we're calling um, Gardening for Wildlife. It's very much a community-led thing. It's part of the national movement, I think, towards getting more wildlife. A recognition that um, our pollinators are in decline. A recognition that we can do something about it as a community. Something that there's uh, now, I think, a movement nationally to support, both in terms of finances and in terms of uh, people wanting, just simply wanting to do it. It's not difficult to do. It'll look good for the visitors coming in in terms of amenity. Um, it looks good for the residents. They, in, they are enjoying the improvement. The uh, locality board idea, I think, is a very good one. It seems to be putting the people close to the authority. And certainly, we've got a councillor on our parish council who's also a WNF councillor. Um, and she can work very closely with both bodies. And I think that's working very well. So yeah, early days, but you know, I think early impressions are very favourable, yeah. My name's Dougie Watson. I'm one of the countryside officers for the Arnside and Silverdale area of outstanding natural beauty. So the AOMB have been working with Cumbria Wildlife Trust and Arnside Parish Council here in Arnside to help improve spaces for biodiversity and pollinators through the Planting for Pollinators programme. We've been working with the Parish Council to identify green spaces within Westman Furness area to improve for biodiversity. So it's a real opportunity for the values of the AOMB and the new council to align. We're really pleased to be able to work in collaboration with other organisations to achieve the benefits for the whole area, really. The new council and the new strategy for, with biodiversity at the heart of going forward is really important for the AOMB because it helps us to promote uh, nature recovery and biodiversity with the support of one of our key partners in the partnership, which is Westman and Finesse Council.